Back in 2020, I um, was driving in the car coming from a um, meeting with a client and I got an email and um, the email just really just set me off and um, I started getting um, heart palpitations while I was driving and I actually said to myself just breathe just breathe so I started doing Lamaze breathing and um, I got myself calmed down and I came back to work and um, at that time I said mm, this isn't right something's wrong but being a woman and you're stubborn and you know you can make it through anything you just keep on pledging through um, I did and on Sunday the following Sunday I was at um, a restaurant wasn't real hungry felt a little different but um, was tired but made it through and everything and I went home um, I told my husband I wasn't feeling that great so I laid down and um, I got this pain and it was a pain like I hadn't felt before and I got up walked around a little bit and said oh, it's gone I'm gonna lay down again so I laid down again I got it again so I did wake my husband up and um, I told him about it and he wanted to take me to the hospital and of course I said I'm gonna be fine you know it's indigestion whatever so I was sitting in the chair and I went back and as I was walking back to my bed I said God um, I don't know if I'm being stupid here or not, but please give me a sign if I need to go to the hospital. Well, he gave me a sign. Um, a really piercing pain through the back of my shoulder blade. And I woke my husband up and I said, we need to go, we need to go now. So I went to Trinity, um, got in. Uh, I was calm, I was very, very calm. Uh, it was amazing how calm I was. I got in there, I talked to the nurse, and by the way, the nurse was a, a male nurse. His name was Zach, the same as my oldest son. And um, I went in the back, and they were treating me. They did an EEG, EEG on me for my heart. I was fine, everything came back fine. My nurse, Zach, said, you know, I seen her when I was, when she first came in and I've been with her and I think you need to do another test. And instead of the doctor saying, who are you, you know, you're a nurse, the doctor said, no problem, Zach, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Well, I had a 90% blockage in my Widowmaker. I would have died if I'd have left that hospital. I was at Trinity. Um, Dr. Shmolovich is who did my um, stent. Um, I was awake through the whole thing. I mean, I was drugged, um, but uh, I didn't feel anything. But they had this monitor, and I could see it, and it was like of my, my, my heart, the vessels in my heart. And I looked at Dr. Shmolovich, and he was calm as anything, and he said, okay, we're ready, and I, he just, I just was so calm. I was watching the screen, and all of a sudden it went Phew. Then my blood pressure went really, really high because that blood was just blocked there. I mean, it wasn't going anywhere. So when they put that stent in, it released the blockage. I went through rehab um, up at Trinity. They told me that a lot of people do not do that after a stent because you do feel better. I felt like the Grinch, um, like my heart grew three sizes that day. I don't know, I never had any pressure on my chest. I never had any pains in my heart. I never had any stiffness in my arms. I never had any shortness of breath, I thought. But after this was done, I was having shortness of breath. I was ignoring it. I was just thinking, I'm tired. I'm not feeling good, you know? So it really was um, uh, an experience that I never want to go through again. The Women of Impact um, program is through the American Heart Association and um, there are nominees that are picked. Um, there were I think over 35 candidates that went into it for this year on the Belmont County Ohio Valley side and um, 
they actually picked five and I was actually one of those fives. And our mission is to raise awareness to women for heart disease. Just please listen, women, please listen. Listen to your body. You know when you're not feeling good and we are not superheroes. Um, we need to take care of ourselves before we can take care of anybody else. And um, just wanna say, go red. <laughs>